Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, today I get to share with you a card. We're going to be using one of the club kits over at the Spellbinder shop. This is the card kit of the month. It's kind of a bonus project. Uh, Spellbinders is having a huge blog hop featuring lots of inspiration using all of the club kits this month. And then they're also having a giveaway. So I encourage you guys to check it out. I'll leave the uh, Spellbinders blog down below. It's always nice to start at the beginning, but I'll also leave mine and that will give more details about the giveaway there too. But um, we're jumping in. I mentioned during my 10 card one kit video that this keychain would be perfect to make like a rainbow keychain card. And that's what we're going to do today. I thought it'd be super fun. Love this keychain. Um, sometimes the Spellbinders card kits of the month um, have their stamp sets as add-ons where you could purchase the stamp set outside of the kit. Um, if this is a card kit extra, I will leave the link to this stamp set down below, but it's super fun. I think it's very original too. <laughs> We're going to start off by creating a colorful background using some inks. These are the Fun Stampers Journey True Color Fusion inks, and this is Beach Breeze for our first background color. Now this keychain is a layering keychain. There's a few elements to it. You have the background piece, and then you also have the top piece you can stamp, and then there's the, the key, um, the keychain link, and then you have the key. But I think this is so neat. And then you have all the elements to decorate like a hotel key, which is really nice. There's even numbers on there that you can number your keys. I think it'd be a cute little birthday card putting the um, the number on the keychain for the age of the birthday. But anyway, we are going to do our yellow. Yellow is with summer days. And then our third color, we are going to ink it up with um, our lavender fusion ink. Yes, I chose some nice bright colors. Our fourth color is a nice orange. It's called Citrus Cooler. And then we're also going to do our last color. We're going to put that right in the middle and bring in a pink. This is Watermelon Fusion. So just love these summery colors. We'll ink this up a few times. Now I chose my Misty to bring it in because it is a solid image. And I did think you have to... Um, stamp it a few times. I learned that during my card that I created with the um, the uh, 10 card one kit video. So using your Misty does help. A stamp positioner will help tremendously with a solid background. Now this is the second layer for the top. Now I'm stamping over all of my backgrounds with my Versify and Onyx Black ink. Now this ink stays sticky and I don't know if you guys know this but when you have an, a sticky ink like this when you add um, silver or gold over the top, it will stick to it. And when you heat emboss, you can't even see the black behind it. Um, I like using this ink for that purpose because um, I can see where I'm stamping versus using a watermark ink. So that's why I chose this ink. But I'm just going over all my images. Now my pink did, I have to say, it had some excess um, embossing powder on there. But I went ahead and heat set it anyway. You can kind of tell here in the middle, you have that extra um, that extra silver shine, but I went with it because it was going to be in the background and I thought it might add a little extra texture. <laughs> okay, now we're going to stamp our key. We're going to stamp it. We have five uh, keychains, so we're going to need five keys. I'm using the same um, Versify and Onyx Black ink to stamp these keys. And then I'm also going to use the same silver embossing powder, go over them, and we'll use the heat gun and melt these as well. After we have this done, we have one more step to create our keychain. There is a little circle in the stamp set where you can connect the key chain to the key, um, the key itself. So this is, has an open end. What I found was super neat is if you take the open end on the right side, stamp that, line it up with the hole in your key, and then take make sure your left end is hitting the top of the outside edge it really looks like there is a link in here. I think it's um, pretty masterful the way they create these stamp sets to where they look so real. And it's very easy to line up, guys. I'm going to stamp this five times, and then we're going to add silver embossing powder to the um, the circle, the keychain circles as well, so they're nice and silvery. So these are our images all ready to go. I am going to take my scissors and fussy cut each one of these out. Um, including the circle on top of the, the keychain. 
um, I thought it would be neat to actually link our key inside there. I just slit a, a small cut in it and then use my scissors to go around it. I think once you add foam adhesive behind it, you won't be able to see where I cut it. But I'm just going to add my key and then there we have a fun and vibrant hotel key or motel key. So fun, isn't it? I just love this. We're going to do this to all the colors. Now, um, I did punch a hole in, in the center of my keys here so I could slide it through the ring of my keychain, but um, it just made it easier. There's no way, or you could use that paper piercer if you wanted to, but I'm, I just used my, my punch here to punch a hole, which I forgot one here, and we're just going to finish off adding our keys. I think it's, I love, a, I have never seen a stamp set like this, so this is why I'm playing with it today. It's super fun. We have a nice rainbow colors. Okay, now we have a pretty open area on the inside of our keychain. Now there is elements in stamp set where you can stamp um, the little circle emblem and the room key number, um, even itty bitty ones for the top of your hotel number um, keychain. But I thought for today we're going to make a kind of a love theme card and so I wanted to bring in some hearts. Um, I think these hearts in this die set, um, I'll link it down below, but I think these hearts are going to work out perfect um, for the size. I'm actually going to add three hearts, stack them together for a little added dimension on each one of my keychains. We're going to add glue first right in the center. And then we're going to just use our jewel picker and place each one of our hearts down the middle. Minus the cat hair. <laughs> okay, easy peasy to do so far and I love the outcome. After we have this done, I'm going to bring in some pattern paper from the 6x6 paper pad this month. And I'm this might be an add-on too. So if the add-ons that I use for the card kit. Um, if they're available, I'll link them below. But this is the around the world paper pad. And I'm just using a, a half inch strip of the black and white stripe paper that was in the card kit of the month this month. Okay, so we have layers on our hearts. And I like the dimension that it adds. And then we have a half inch strip of the stripe paper. Now we're going to bring in some foam adhesive. And we're kind of going to arrange our um, keys directly on our card base. Our, my card base today is a standard A2 size card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half inches. Um, I did decide to use coordinating Copic markers, um, just two different shades of the same color um, to highlight the hearts, just so they didn't really stand out as much, but they were there. Um, I'm gonna do that to all of them. And once they're done, we're gonna flip them over and add foam adhesive behind our um, our keychains, which are so fun. <laughs> this one's going to go in the corner here, and we're just going to kind of overlap them, place them really wonky all over the card front. I am going to leave a little bit of an open area on that bottom right corner because that's where we're going to stamp our sentiment. This is our last key, but before we add it, we're going to go ahead and add our stripe paper. This is going to go towards the bottom. Using the tape runner, we'll adhere this about a quarter inch up from the bottom of our card base. That way we still have room for our sentiment there. We'll just use our scissors and trim off the excess that's overhanging. But if you wanted to, you could wrap it around. Sometimes I like to do that, wrap it around the inside of the card. So that's ready to go. We will take our sentiment. For this card, I chose love is the, and then you can customize it. I chose key. So we're going to start off actually by stamping the key with our watermelon watermelon fusion ink we're going to stamp the key first and then like i said this is a customizable uh, sentiment set so i think it's super neat next i'll stamp love is the with my black uh, licorice ink and it's going to work out great we'll go ahead and add our last key and I think that's so fun. They kind of look really real. I just, because they're probably true to size. Maybe a little bit smaller than an original hotel or motel key. Okay, now we're going to add bells and whistles. I thought we would highlight each one of the hearts with my white gel pen. Um, I'm basically creating backward C's. And this is going to give my little hearts a little added dimension and bring some white to the center of my keys. 
After we have this done, I'm going to use my journey glaze and go over each one of the hearts. It's going to dry, goes on a little bit cloudy, and then it dries clear and nice and shiny. And so um, I think that's going to be the perfect touch to these cards. After we have this done, I'm going to bring down, and we have a little bit of an open area just above the sentiment, so I think I'm going to bring in some silver embellishments. I think we're going to add three just above our sentiment to balance out the silver in our card, and then that finishes off my project today using the Spellbinders Card Kit of the Month. Um, if you missed the unboxing for the card kit, I'll link it at the end. If you missed the 10 card one kit video, I'll link that at the end as well, but it's such a fun kit, guys. I want to thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Join us for the blog hop, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.